Hi boys and girls, how are you today? It's a jolly jellyfish Thursday. Can you see our lovely jellyfish? I think this jellyfish, can you see how he swims? All his legs are moving in the water and his arms, they are moving. Can you see there? And he's swimming along, swim, swim. He's on his way home from school, I think. Swimming, swimming to show his mom he has a new reader. And he's so excited as he's swimming along. He's reading his book. This one says, Spot can run. And he's swimming along. So, all we need for this is one piece of paper. I've got two different markers. You can use two different pencils. And so it's going to be very, very easy. We're going to fold our piece of paper in half. We're going to cut it in half. So we're going to take our first half. We're going to hold it this way where the longer side is on this, this side and the length is the shorter side okay the longer side is on top so we're going to take it we're going to fold it in half just gently though we're going to take a pencil and from there we're just going to curve around just the corner can you see that's all we want to cut off is that little corner so we're going to carefully, always be very careful with the pair of scissors. We're going to go carefully around. And that is our head of our jellyfish. So we're going to leave it to the side. Our other half, we're making the long side at the bottom. But before, yes, our long side at the bottom. We want one ruler on the side with a pencil, so that's a wide, one broad line on the side with our ruler. And that is going to be for our book and our fancy eyelashes and all the rest of this paper. I want you to draw narrow lines. Can you see there? All the way to the end for us to cut along. For his legs, I haven't made them very wide. They are about one centimeter. So now we've cut up all those long bits. We're going to take two. We're going to put it aside for the arms. We'll leave them there with the head. And all these that's left, we're going to take each one individually and we're going to fold it. See, I'm folding it over and over. And it doesn't matter if it's not the same size, but don't go too big because we want this to be our bendy legs. Can you see? Then I open it and now it's all springy. And when he swims, the leg will wave. So I'm going to put it to a side. Now we're going to do the same with all the rest. We're going to take it and we're going to just bend it over and over. There we go. Now I've got them all folded and I just pull them out a little bit. Not too much so they can still be wavy. So now they're there all ready to be glued on. But my last little bit, remember we cut, took our ruler and we cut one ruler's length to save. So this piece, I've drawn a line on top for the book. I've used maybe one and a little bit of a ruler length. I think it's about six centimeters. And that's my book. I'm going to cut that piece off. And then I have measured two more pieces, not too wide. There we 
go and let's see how big they are. They're not that big. They're one, two and a half centimeters. And I've drawn a little line across the top because I'm just making a few cuts to that line because that's what's going to be my eyelashes. So if I take my, there we go, I'm going to take my um, paintbrush. I'm going to put my thumb one side and the paintbrush the other and I'm just curling them. Can you see? So then they'll also wave as he's swimming by. So he's got two eyes, so he needs two eyelashes. So we're going to cut the other one just to the line. And hold the paper with the paintbrush on one side. My thumb's on the other side. I'm holding the bottom. And gently, I'm just curling it around. I'm just pulling the paintbrush over it, see? the handle and they have curled up now we're all ready to go so shall we start with his face don't lose any of these body parts so we're leaving it white because most jellyfish are see-through aren't they so now i am going to take what have i done with my pen I'm going to draw his eye, a nice big eye, and another nice big eye, there we go, so it lets him look this side today, there we go there, and there we go there, so I'm going to make his eyes purple, Color it in. So I've colored his eyes in. I'm going to give him a few spots. There we go. I've given him a smile because he's so, so happy. I've taken his one eyelash and I've colored it in. And this one here, I'm still busy with. So, oh, I don't want to make him full of a mess. So I'm going to do this one. And there we go. I've colored them both in. And on the side, that's not curled and cut, the back here. Just at the bottom where it was straight, I'm going to glue so I'm going to put that up there and let these wave in the air or shall we say in the water and this one some glue and there we go. Is that not the cutest ever? So now I'm going to take his legs and I'm going to just put some glue at the top of each one and I'm just going to glue it in a line. I'm going to just leave little spaces in between and away we go. So now he's going to have his little wavy legs. There we go. Got another one. And another one. And our last one. So almost there. And what are we missing? There he goes, swimming away. But where's his arms? So we're going to take his book. Put him one side. We're going to take his book, and I think his book is going to be green. Oh, I love this color green. Is that not a beautiful color? The color says it's a yellow green. 
Isn't that nice? It makes you feel happy, this color. I think it's a happy color. I like it. There's this book. Oops. Down the middle, we'll make a line that it looks like that's his spine of his book. There we go. And over here, we will write. What are we going to write? We're going to write, um, let's see. Jelly Baby. Because he's a jellyfish, maybe he's reading about a jelly baby. So we're going to take his arm and we're going to glue it behind the book. So we're going to take the glue. We're going to go behind the book. There's the front. We're going to go behind. We're going to take his other arm. Here we go. We're going to glue it behind the book. And now the book's in front. Can you see there? And it's behind. Now we bring him back again. Because now he needs his arms. So we're going to put glue on the other end. Quite a lot on his arm and we're going to go there and we're going to wrap his arm around the back so that the book is in the air it mustn't be flat can you see so we've measured it we've seen that we want the book in the air and our fingers there so this whole piece here we'll put glue on that whole piece we're going to take that piece and we're going to glue it at the back. Oh my goodness. And there we go. There's our jellyfish floating by on his way home from school. And there's his friend. And there they are swimming together. Can you see them from the top? Everything's moving. They're in the shade, the shadow of the light, you can see their legs. And we have two friends that's gone to school and they're on their way home. Was this not just great, great fun?